Hello everybody, it's Mad Cat Spear, and I just wanted to upload a video to talk about um, this, the very important thing. This is the thing um, that is going to be something that's going to um, going to help with the psychokinesis, and it's going to and for people that are new, it's going to help them a lot. Um, the thing is, though, it helped me a lot to understand the movement of objects without touching them psychokinesis, and it and it is it's from my it's from a little thing that you guys have seen from my other tutorial that my uh, best psychokinesis telekinesis tutorial for beginners the the one that has 127,000 views and, and inside there it talks about um um that that psychokinesis is a state of progression you have to be in a constant state of progression within yourself you have to you ha you can't have it be something that is um um, it has to be flowing and going all the time. It has to be constantly in a state of process. You're constantly processing and developing all the time. Even when you're not focusing your intention on moving an object, which is you know practicing psychokinesis, you have to understand that even after, before and after and during psychokinesis, doing psychokinesis, when you're walking, when you walk away from practicing, you have to still uh, have it be a part of your life have have it be a constant part of your everyday living you know like you have to carry around the experiences of of what you were doing you know like when you're sitting and looking at an object you're sitting there um beside you have to be beside yourself and you have to just understand you have to be patient with yourself and as you sit there trying to move an object whatever it, it may be a can or a side wheel or a foil knockover or something you have to understand that the whole to totality the whole experience whether or not you get something to happen or not, to move an object or not, you have to carry that with you. You have to carry the enthusiasm with you. Um, you have to carry the experience within. You always talk about carrying your experiences. But what it is is that when you carry things with you, you're never shutting it off. You're never forgetting. You're never letting yourself forget. And what that is when you're carrying, you have to carry how it felt when you were just sitting there quietly. You carry that feeling of quietness. You carry that feeling of of uh, of um, trying to understand and comprehend what was happening, you know, uh, trying to uh, the the you know the enthusiasm you had when you're doing it, um, um, analyzing the object, you know, uh, visualizing the object, all those things you carried around, and what that does is that um, it allows you to be in a constant state of process. You're basically in a constant state of developing. You're never um, becoming stale. Just like how I said in the YouTube video, my the biggest video one, um, the biggest tutorial. In, 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 in the description, I talk about Bruce Lee, and Bruce Lee's quote says, "Running water never grows stale." So you gotta just keep on flowing. And Bruce Lee's right: running water never grows stale, and you gotta keep on flowing. And the same thing with psychokinesis; it's very much the same. Um, you have to keep on being in a state of movement and progression, in a constant state of learning and development, in order for you to de to 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 strengthen your abilities to move objects and to do pyrokinesis and electro and things like that. You have to always be in a constant state of process, constant state of development, constant states of, of, uh, of progression. You're constantly, you're always going, even when you achieve something, spinning a side wheel, knocking over a can or rolling a can or whatever it may be, hydrokinesis or aerokinesis, even when you achieve something, you never let yourself um, feel as though you're finished. You always feel as though, okay, I did that, so you know, I'm just gonna walk away from it, and 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 this is the thing too is that while you, when you walk away, um, in order to be in a constant state of process, you have to have it, um, um, the 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 the, the activity what what just happened, you have to have that um, humming and buzzing in the back of your mind, in your subconscious mind, have it always be kind of like tinkering and kind of flickering, and kind of processing here, even when you're doing this. When you're at work or at school or talking to friends or whatever, you have to have this going too. You know, even when you're not doing psychokinesis, you want to have the experiences. What you're, you have to have something going on in the background. Still, that's how you're. You that that's how you um, remain in a constant state of process psychokinesis. When you have this going on, the experiences of what you're doing, not so much of wanting to do psychokinesis, but the actual practice of it and the successes of what you do. You have to believe in anything. Anything that moves, you have to believe that it's you. You know, even if it's the wind or you bump the table or something, you have to believe it's you or else you're not going to develop faith in yourself that you're creating strength and connecting. Any disbelief is going to 
obliterate all development. And you have to just accept it and carry it with you. So you be in constant state of process. Remember, Bruce Lee says, running water, running water never grows stale. So you got to keep on flowing, keep on flowing. Even when you succeed at things, you keep on flowing, keep on flowing. You got to be thankful, thankful and grateful for your progression. But you got to keep on going and going and going and going so that you never grow stale and you, you, you never become egotistic or you never become um, 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 bewildered or frustrated or anything like that. You're, you're never too high or too low with your ego or with your um, um, with your doubts or judgments. You know, you're always constantly always there. And so that's what uh, I wanted to share with you guys. And I hope you guys, this will understand. You guys will understand. And this is like the big thing too, is that um, I want to get into just to end the video, not to make it too long. I want to talk about the thing is that, um, is that you can't over acknowledge of what you're doing. You can't become too aware of what you're trying to do or else everything will just collapse and there'll be no progression at all. You have to suspend yourself in a perfect balance of having an intention to move the object, but at the same time learning to kind of pull back yourself and letting yourself just observe and and kind of um, uh, send your, your, your inner thoughts and your soft thoughts to connect and move the object. You know, it, 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 it's just a proper, it's just a very delicate, particular balance psychonesis demands. It's not, psychonesis is not impossible. You know, if I can do it, you can do it. Anyone can do psychonesis, anyone, anyone can do it. But the thing is, is that for you to progress and for you to get something going for beginners and all that, uh, and, and to main, maintain pro progression, is that you cannot be totally aware of what you're trying to do like when people when when i tell you guys um observe the object and try to visualize um try to coax and persuade the object to kind of roll towards you or you know certain things you learn from from youtube you know uh you know certain techniques you 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 you, you cannot you can't just force you know by by literally thinking and forcing the object to move it has to be a balance of of suspending yourself where you're just kind of like in a in a certain zen state self self manipulated zen state where you're suspended from all emotions all judgments and you just kind of get into this kind of mode and this kind of head change where you're just kind of staring off and kind of daydreaming it's like a slight form of daydream to where you're there but at the same time your mind is drifting off and and you're present but but at the same time you're not and what you're doing is that so for it's like metaphorically speaking like for um for a solid object to be both um both um solid and to be liquid it needs to be between that which is kind of like a slime form kind of material which is like in physics you know like so for us in terms of this liquid that's both a uh, liquid and a solid which becomes like a big old blob you know which is the best interpretation is that in order for a person to be here but not here they have to uh, metaphysically in their mind be distant which is kind of like zoning in and out within their own self you know through meditation or by doing the technique of trying to sleep within yourself to create um, a delta brainwave activity what I, what I taught you guys you have to in order, in order to be here but not here you have to within your own self be distant within the mind and by default automatic your body is just there anyways so by the, by uh spiritually and and um and, and and through physics and quantum mechanics you then become something that is here but not here but something right in the middle and by being right there in the middle then you're able to connect with an object more better because you're becoming physically a presence but at the same time you're becoming spiritually uh, more um more of like a, like an omnipresence like with a to become omnipresence to strengthen your omnipresence where it is and the only way to do that is to do the delta brainwave activity or to just to be zen or zoned out a little bit and to find techniques from other people too and so that, that that's the thing is that with psychonesis you do have to have some direct thought process of the object you want to ro roll the object towards you but in order to be that way you have to be uh, you have to you have to, you have to um, start first um, maintaining this type of um, zoning being 50 50 here and not here kind of state and then stepping in to move the object how you want it to do it 
So like I said in the other video, you have to be one foot in, one foot out. You know, you have to be present but not there. And it's kind of like a very complicated thing. And so like it's a very delicate balance, what it is. And so um, by by uh, um, learning from Trevor Seven, you know, meditating and by being in a Zen state within the mind, kind of daydreaming, kind of drifting off a little bit. That's the only thing I'd say. But to, doubt, to, to, to develop um, the psychonesis, um, doubts or brainwave activity, trying to fall asleep within yourself so that you can drift off a little bit here and then kind of still be automatically here. And then while you're in that perfect balance of being here but not here, then you could use direct thoughts. That's then when you could use direct thoughts to move the object towards you, to, to, to dictate what you want it to do. But only when you're in that proper balance of being here but not here within the mind um you know it's soft and subtle but direct at the same time it's a very particular psychonesis is a son of a bitch it's a son of a bitch man but it, anyone can do it it's not hard it's just like when you learn how to uh, when you put enough force anybody can lift um like a big old damn tire when you put enough force anybody can uh learn to um you know um put their hand in a flame and and develop a greater threshold to not you know, not suffer the, the burning you know it's like anyone can do it you know it just takes development and force and will that's what it is you know so this mad cat sphere hope you guys understand it so i look at this long hope you guys watch the whole the video and that's like the big old damn chunks and the specifics i want to tell you guys hope you guys understand thank you